This is Oliver. Welcome back to another Q&A Ask Me Anything video. I haven't done one of these videos in a while and since it's the, the, the start of 2022 and I did a room tour a few videos back and we're tomorrow, by the time I'm filming this right now, I'm, go I'm going to the movie theaters to watch a really big movie that many people are excited for. So I think it's a good time to do, to, to do this right now. Go check out my previous Q&A Ask Me Anything videos. They are awesome and worth checking out. I got my Sour Patch Kids ready uh, in preparation for this video and I got my awesome background ready. So without further ado, let's do this. Do you think uh, there is any chance the Batman can be better than the Dark Knight? From uh, a question from Nicholas Triple Ekman who has a conf call about Carnage uh, right downstairs if you can hear. I, I don't I don't think it, it, it will be as good as the, 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 the Dark Knight but I think there, there can be potential. And I think sort of it's going to be like as good or even better than Joker. And for a period uh, when Joker came out, I sort of thought that Walking Phoenix was was be was a better Joker than Heath Ledger. But now that I think about it, Heath Ledger is still the best Joker. And yeah, but I do think that Walking Phoenix. One thing Walking Phoenix has better than uh, than Heath Ledger's Joker is that his costume uh, looks a lot better and more bright and colorful. And uh, yeah, I've heard I heard really good things about the Batman from their reviews, and I don't know if it's going to be as good as the Dark Knight, because it's impossible. It's Dark Knight is such a good movie, so it's really hard to beat. But I do think that uh, I do think that Robert Pattinson is going to be a much better Batman than Christian Bale's Batman. Even though I love Christian Bale's Batman and he's a really good actor, one big reason why he was the best live action Batman for a while was because his movies are so good. He has a trilogy of really good movies. There is a really big p potential that he might be uh, the best Batman we we've gotten and way better than Christian Bale. So I'm not sure and also like I said by, by the time I'm filming this right now I'm going to watch the Batman at the movie theaters tomorrow on Thursday. But by the time this video comes out, I've probably already seen it. And a movie review, a movie review will come out soon. Yeah, I, there is potential that it, it might it might be better than Dark Knight, but I don't want to have too high high expectations. The Riddler is in the new Batman movie. I've, I've heard people compare him to uh, Heath Ledger Joker. So I think the, the Riddler will be, will I don't think he will be as good as Heath, Ledger, Heath Ledger's Joker. I'm super excited for the Batman. Mm. It's unbelievable, it's unbelievable that I'm going to watch a new Batman movie, a brand new actor, a new movie in IMAX tomorrow. It feels like a breath of fresh air. What is your favorite movie fight scene from a non-superhero movie? From my brother Elliot Ekman who is sitting next to me right now. Hey. Uh, uh, bye I would bye. say, wait, what, my Star Wars kids! Yesterday I watched the, the, the Kingsman movies and the action scenes in the Kingsman movies are just so epic and awesome. Uh, and uh, and in uh, particular, the final battle at the end of the second movie uh, with Elton John, that was so epic and awesome. It was hilarious, funny to see Elton John, but at the same time, epic. Just the action scenes in general in the Kingsman movies are just so epic and awesome. And uh, um, my favorite action scene from the latest Kingsman movie, The Kingsman, was, is the action scene when, when they're fighting against Rasputin. And that scene is just so epic and awesome. It's beautifully shot, well choreographed, and the or or orchestral music is just, it's just so awesome. And it just it puts a big smile on my face every time I watch that scene. And also, I almost forgot, Godzilla vs. Kong isn't a super movie. And the ac my favorite action scene from that film is the Hong Kong action scene. So yeah, that's an, again, like I've said uh, before on the YouTube channel, uh, that's uh, my favorite action scene from that movie. And it's so epic and awesome. And also, it might surprise you, but Shrek isn't a super movie. And there's a ton of epic and awesome action scenes in, in the Shrek movies. In particular, uh, they were fighting against Captain Hook and, and Shrek pulled the, the cannon. That was so epic and awesome. And also Star Wars in particular, The Force Awakens when Kylo Ren and Rey were, 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 were fighting each other in the snow. That was so epic and awesome. For me, I would say the action scenes in the Kingsman movies, some of the action from Shrek, uh, some of the, uh, the action scene when King Kong is fighting against the skull crawler in, in uh, Kong Skull Island is so epic and awesome and it's beautifully shot. And some of my favorite action scenes from a non-super movie.
and of course the accuracy when uh, when Ray is, is fighting against Kylo Ren. Because what is your favorite Star Wars movie and why? From Maurits, Elliot's friend. And uh, and for me personally, Star Wars The Force Awakens. It came out uh, when I was in a very young age. So I watched it at a movie theater and I wasn't really the biggest Star Wars fan. And I'm surprised how much I actually did like the movie. And it, 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 it's a movie that I grew up watching as a kid at a very young age, when I was like seven years old. And it was the nostalgia for me, uh, so, uh, all, all, all the stuff in this movie. Like, it, it, it in introduced some of the new characters in the best ways uh, possible. Finn, in, in particular, the, the prologue in the beginning was just such a great introduction to his character, and you actually understand where he's coming from. And as, as well as Ray, like uh, Elliot, my brother Elliot doesn't like Ray. I actually really liked her as a character. And Kylo Ren also, he was so cool. He a really cool mask, and uh, it was creative that they had uh, the the Darth Vader mask still there. That was so awesome, and a, a great way to introduce the villain. And also, as well as introducing the old characters too, Leia and Han Solo, and um, the death of Han Solo was just sad, but in a, in a good way. That you really did care about the character, and it was just a really good end to, to his character, to his arc throughout the movie. And yeah, overall a really good movie, and also has one of the best action scenes in all of Star Wars, like I said before. And of course, Empire Strikes Back is my second favorite Star, Star Wars movie. But I do have more nostalgia for The Force Awakens. And also, if that doesn't convince you enough, it also has a really good Lego game. So what DC movie are you most excited for? As you guys know, I'm super excited to watch the Batman tomorrow. Uh, but, uh, it's not... I don't want to have too high expectations for for the movie because people say it's like the best Batman movie of all time. And, and uh, I, I'm still not convinced that Ben Affleck's Batman, instead of him getting his own solo movie, he's, he's just replaced by the guy from Twilight. Even though he was in The Lighthouse, which I haven't seen it, but people say it's a good movie. And I've seen Harry... He was in uh, the, the Harry Potter, the, the, the Goblet of Fire, which I thought was a really good movie. I'm still not convinced the fact that they should replace an already really perfect Batman. I'm, I'm still not convinced. Uh, one of the DC movies that I'm most excited for is Black Adam, starring The Rock, that comes out July 2022. Uh, the reason why I'm really excited for this movie is because, uh, both one, first off, it's The Rock. The Rock, Dwayne Johnson himself, he's a really good actor. He's been in a lot of really good movies. I love the Jumanji movies in, in particular. You know, even if there are movies that he's in that's uh, like terrible, terrible movies, uh, he makes he makes those movies be a lot better with his charisma and everything. So, a uh, really good actor. Second of all, it's Warner Bros. themselves. They are very passionate about this movie. And uh, and uh, from, from the trailers, it looks awesome. Black Adam, his costume, and I'm excited to see him uh, meet against uh, Shazam. So, uh, hopefully that happens. And uh, he... And Black Adam says that he really wants to fight uh, Superman. So, uh, so I would like freak out if if uh, Black Adam and Henry Cavill Superman would fight would fight each other. That would be so epic and awesome. Even though it's DCU, it doesn't have anything to do with DCU at all. No, no, no. It still has to do. With it, it you still have Adam Smasher, who his father you saw at the end of Snyder Cut, and uh, Black Adam is. Shazam's enemy, but if Shazam and Superman would team up to fight against Black Adam, that would be so epic and awesome. Like, uh, like uh, and The Rock is also very passionate about this movie. He says in the interviews for this movie, the higher power in the DC Universe is about change. And that makes me excited. And also Aquaman 2 I'm also really excited for because uh, it's Jason Momoa. Uh, he's great as Aquaman and I absolutely love the first movie. And of course, the Flash I'm excited for, but uh, the I think that Black Adam and Aquaman two are the ones that I have um, the ones that I uh, I'm I think uh, are the, the most uh, sure of that will that will be good. And also another movie that might maybe come out in 2023 that I'm really excited for if it, if it comes out, but I think I have hope that that it's going to actually going to happen and our dreams are, our dreams are going to come true. Zack Snyder's Justice League Part 2, War of Dark Side. Uh, she'll, she'll, she'll flip out uh, before, you, uh, before you say anything. I have hope that, that they are actually going to make this because first off, uh, every, uh, Zack, uh, everyone said that the, 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 the Snyder Cut wasn't, was never ever going to happen, but then actually did happen. 
so us uh, hashtag release the Snyder Cut actually won. And now there's a lot of people saying hashtag restore the Snyderverse. So if we continue that, those hashtags, we will be seeing this the Snyder Cut sequel. And also, uh, Zack Snyder has been teasing on social media a lot about this. And he, he doesn't just tease things for no particular reason. He actually, I feel like he has a lot of passion in making, uh, in continuing his Snyderverse. And yeah. And also, of course, Zack Snyder just like, ended it with a cliffhanger. And of course, we would want to see more of it. And I feel if you, it just feels stupid, the fact that you, you make a movie and then it ends with a cliffhanger and then you say it's the last movie of the, of the trilogy. Like, no, no flipping way. The DC movies I'm most excited for are uh, The Batman, Aquaman 2, Black Adam, and The Flash. And if Sex and Justice 2 doesn't happen, then uh, Shazam 2 I'm excited for in 2023. So yeah, thanks for the question. So yeah, there, there's a lot of DC movies that I'm excited for and that I have passion in. Because I, as you guys know on the YouTube channel, I love the DCU. Anyways guys, that's it for my Q&A, Ask Me Anything video. Wait, Thanos, don't chew the finger. Kids are watching this. Anyways guys, as I was saying, uh, th that's it for my Q&A, Ask Me Anything video. I really hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys next time. Expecto Patronum!